Hey guys, Kim Java here. So I just got back from my first time at CS in Vegas and what a crazy week it's been. I got to learn about all this cool vehicle tech from all around the world. And I can't wait to share that with you guys soon. But what really stood out to me was what's coming from a Turkish startup, TOG. So last week I shared a video with you guys. I told you all about the vehicle itself or the smart device, you know, the charging infrastructure and their CSUV that's gonna be hitting the market soon. This week I wanted to talk a little bit more because it's not really just that they are making an EV. You know, every car maker is doing that, but it's what sets them apart, it's their whole ecosystem. I mean, they don't even call it an EV, first of all, they call it a smart device. So let's take you out to Vegas to learn more. So just got to the TOG display. It is huge. It's one of the biggest displays here at CES. And it's all about their use case mobility, which I want to learn a lot more about because it's not really just a vehicle. It connects to your entire life. It's more of a third living space. So I have a feeling this is where I will be the entire day. This is all the vehicle tech. This is what CS is really all about this year. It's all about tech. It's creating these ecosystems. So it's not just a vehicle anymore. It's about the entire way that that connects to your life. So TOG didn't even bring their EV or smart device to CES this year, which, you know, is a very unique approach. But after I spent some time in their massive booth, it really became clear to me why they call it a smart device because it's more about their ecosystem than anything else. And I also got to spend some time with their CEO, Garjan Karakash, and he explained to me why TOG's EVs need to be so much more than just a car. We are a firm believer that our living rooms and our offices are moving into the smart device on one side, on the other side, they are melting in one space. Last year at CES, TOG revealed their new EV or smart device, and their booth managed to be one of the best booths out of over two 2,000 participants, and this year they're really trying to do the same thing, revealing their whole ecosystem that's around the EV. From day one on, we were saying we are established for more than a car. More than a car is for us the mobility concept. Our ambition is to be, as a new player, offering our users a completely different experience far beyond moving from A to B. So one of the ways that TOG is expanding their ecosystem is through an app called TrueMore. And what's crazy is that you do not even need a TOG to access TrueMore. So at CS this year, they had a station representing what you might see using TrueMore, and it broke it down into services of go more, play more, earn more, and scale more. And the best way I can describe all this is that it uses AI to understand your needs and then it will plan your daily routines. So with Go More, it tells you where to charge, it calculates road fare, and it plans your best route. So anyone can download this platform to their phone, but with TOG, it basically transforms your EV or your smart device into your third living space. You know what? This is the very first non-flying object where you can earn status miles. This is the very first time in the entire world and this is, from our perspective, what our users are expecting. The experience on one side on a physical level and on the other side on the digital level combined. So for example, if you're hungry, your smart device would offer you options of cuisines like you know Chinese or Mexican and then you'd pick one and it would offer you options of different restaurants that you not only would get a discount in but you would also earn points towards the blockchain. So another way to think about all this is like earning credit card points that you can use for future travel or even exchange for actual currency, except this is all done on the blockchain. Um, you can also think about it like a digital assistant that uses AI and what they call user empathy. For example, a feature called Earn More covers various in-car payments that earn you rewards that you can then put into your digital wallet. So think about things like NFTs and digital art collection. So yes, this is a lot to take in from a car company, which is why it's more of a smart device as TOG calls it. So when I asked TOG CEO why they didn't bring their smart device as they call it to CES this year, he said because CES is supposed to be about technology, you know, it's not the LA auto show. So that just kind of stands for how advanced and far ahead of the competition that they are aiming to be. You know, they are focusing on strategic areas like mobility solutions, big data, cybersecurity, 
fintech and gamification. I mean, even their ordering process of getting a TOG is being gamified. A gamified portion, uh, we have a digital challenge and the more you are experienced with that, the more you will have chances to have the higher ranks in the pre-orders. They also have things like usage-based insurance services that are being gamified as part of TOG's Play More feature. One of the terms that TOG uses is use case mobility, which to a lot of us is a new term. So use refers to being user-centric and case refers to how it's connected to your life. So it's user-centric, it's smart, it's empathetic, it's connected, it's autonomous, and it's electric. So they had the station set up at CES to kind of make sense of all this, where they used the idea of creating self-AI with a silly dancing avatar to kind of put it all together. So we answered a few questions and we did a silly dance to create an avatar representation of our use case in the digital world. We could then download it to our phones and use it however we wish. Similar to if you had an NFT or digital art, you could display it in your home, on your TV or whatever. So all this is just an example of use case. So much of what TOG is trying to do is just hard to conceptualize and that's because they're thinking in a way that not a lot of car makers are um, but these little stations at CES really helped to kind of bring it all to life. Um, there was one called Clean Energy Solutions where you could charge your device while managing your clean energy and the whole exhibit was really just this work of art from this digital display to this waterfall and it's just kind of this modern nature it, but it was it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. They also had this cool experience called Beyond X that was completely personalized. So what I experienced was completely different than the person in front of me or behind me. And I did a live with Alex Guberman over from e Electric. And what he experienced with this was completely different representation of future mobility. You get into this kind of a car that looks more like your little kind of a living room, which is essentially yeah. what the car is going to be like. And... Um, then they're like, well, would you like to drive through the street of this? Or would you like to listen yeah. to techno? I was like, sure, I'll drive through the streets of you know, this country and I'll listen to techno. And as I was driving through it, I realized that those streets have been created by AI algorithm just for me. And the music was playing just for me. So mine had me in space. I don't know what that says about me, but it was definitely a really cool experience. And I enjoyed a lot of Turkish coffee while I was there. Um, but what do you guys think about all this? Is it too much for your brain to handle? Or do you think that this is where the future of mobility is headed now? Personally, I feel like everyone is making EVs right now. So it's not enough just to be electrified. It's about how you are connected and what the entire ecosystem is like. So, you know, with TOG, um, they're saying, we're not just a car, we are a smart device. And this is how you're connected. And this is how we're gonna make your life better. So I'm really curious what you guys think about all this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. And thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed and you give this video a like and we will catch you next time.